So welcome to MrNussbaum.com. Um, today's video, I would like to show you my huge selection of principal reading comprehension activities. So to get to these, the first thing you're going to do is go to MrNussbaum.com and then scroll down to Language Arts. Next, you're going to scroll down again through all of our language arts offerings and you'll see reading comprehension online, which are the online versions of these that give immediate feedback and the printable versions. So we offer well over 500 printable reading comprehension activities for all subjects and all grade level and for free. So if I click here, you're going to see the vast number of activities available. So I'm going to scroll down. You see right here we have the answer sheet, um, but some of them have, um, if you click on them, you'll see the answer sheet is the last page in the exercise. So I'm going to scroll just to give you an idea and you see all the different subjects available. And we could go on and on. Lots and lots of history, science, current events, animals, biographies, just about anything that you can make into a reading comprehension, uh, we have tried to do it. You see right here, some interesting ones, the future of polar bears, black, vid black widow versus brown recluse, compare and contrast reading comprehensions. We have main idea reading comprehensions. All of these are printable. 90% of them are available for free and you can print them out uh, to your heart's content and they are great for reading comprehension practice. They're great, um, you know, for reading centers. We have ones that students really like, like Capture the Flag, Reading Comprehension, the History of the Game, Capture the Flag, and on and on. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see there are over five pages of these free for you to use with your students um, in an unlimited capacity. I'll show you an example. The other thing you can do real quick is you can um, filter these by grade levels here right in the left. If you want to see those available, which we've deemed available uh, appropriate for fourth grade, click on the four. For first grade, click on the one. Um, okay, so let's see, for example, let's do the $3.5 million Pokemon disaster reading comprehension. So if I click on this, you'll see it simply comes up with the reading comprehension package. This one has uh, the narrative that students have to read. The second page has the multiple choice questions, which are always not just, um, you know, questions like, you know, that it's easy for a student to find the answer. They just go back to the text and easily find the answer. No, students have to think about these. These are designed to try to match state mandated standardized tests. And so the questions themselves and the options are, um, you know, require students to do deep thinking as well as go back to the text sometimes. For example, uh, which of the following is the best meaning for the title of the third paragraph? All that glitters is not gold. What does the author seem disturbed by? Which question is not answered? So they're not, they, these are higher level questions. You see the third, um, the third page is the answers. And this particular one is, is we've deemed good for students in fifth and sixth grade, but we have those that are more appropriate to, to kids in first and second grade, and those in third and fourth grade, or whatever. I've taught every grade level from second to sixth grade, so I have a pretty good idea of grade level appropriateness. And I develop all of these, I, all of these, let's say, let's, let's say 95% of these, um, I, have dealt, I have actually um, developed myself. I write the narratives, I write the questions. I do have people who um, I've hired who've done the other 5%, but all of it goes through me, so I have to approve them all before they get on the site. Anyhow, um, simply you can download these, you can print them out, you can pass out to your students, you can print 100 copies, you can print two copies. All of the content on my site is designed for you to use however you see fit with your students. So I hope you use these. I know that as much as I like the online versions that give me um, 
immediate feedback as much as I like the versions that you can uh, turn into forms and upload to Google Classroom that enable you to collect student data. A lot of times I just really need something that I can print out and pass out to students still. And these are perfect. These are absolutely perfect um, for that end.